we are continuing this series on using Braveheart and also Sunday's readings for spiritual lessons. And um, the video we sh we chose this week is Murren's funeral. I think I said that right. Yeah, Murren. Okay. And uh, this was William Wallace's wife who was you know killed, and uh, the burial. And I want to tie it in with uh, Simeon's prophecy, where Simeon tells our lady that a sword will pierce your heart. And I think. In this scene, you see the, the sorrow in William Wallace's heart losing his wife, but also the mom losing her daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to tie that in with the presentation because Simeon tells um, Our Lady, you know, at the presentation, a sword will pierce your heart. So let's take a look at the scene. Anima is, et animae omnium fidelium defunctorum, et misericordiam dei requisat in pace. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. powerful scene and um, you know once again we see in this scene the sorrow in William Wallace losing his wife and the mother who's just just totally broken losing her daughter and um, the reason is that Morin is an innocent victim mm -hmm. and she was sacrificed kind of like for her people I mean this 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 event would make William Wallace go to war it's a game changer yeah and he's like now I'm, I'm, I'm all in yeah and I, it reminds me also of Mel Gibson's movie on the Passion, where you have that live scene where right after his death, she's holding Jesus in her arms, and there's this look. She looks at the, you know, at us mm -hmm. through the movie screen, and it's almost like she's saying to us, look, he's done all the work. He shed his blood as innocent victim, and I am holding my only beloved son, and I'm hurting so much for you. Do you realize what he's done for you? Yeah. And it's a live Pieta scene, and I think, you know, you've been, uh, I've been to Rome, but you've lived there for five years or so, mm -hmm. and you've probably seen the Pieta many, many times. What's the significance of that statue, and uh, how can it help us with our understanding of the Mass and also what Jesus has done for us? It's perhaps one of the most famous statues in the world, and it's actually meant to be viewed from a certain perspective. It's meant to be viewed from the perspective of a priest looking up at the statue right. from below. So if you look at it from 20 yards away, you see that Mary, the actual figure of Mary is, is, is larger than life. And that the figure of Jesus in her arms is about life size. Right. So the, the perspective doesn't really line up, but it does line up as the priest is celebrating mass, he consecrates the host and he looks up and holding the body of Christ in his hands, he sees Mary lowering the body of Christ to the top of the altar to where he is and he realizes what I'm doing now the father has done for me that Mary is offering her son that the father offers his son this is what God has done for me what do I do in return and it should be every mass should be a game-changing moment both for the priest and for the people
Right. God has done this for me. What do I do for him? Precisely. And then go to war for him. And uh, I think, too, even in the New Translation of the Mass, we say that, and I paraphrase it, that this was shed for you and for many. And it was, it's, it's been changed from, I think, what used to say, all. Yes. And, then, and the Mass is for everyone in the entire world, but that many signifies that not everyone will sort of participate in the sacrifice or get the graces or love the Mass or give, get the graces that God has offered them. Yeah, we'll respond the, to the love of God. We'll respond to this invitation. Yeah. And I think, you know, as William Wallace responded to the death of his wife and said, let's go defeat evil, the Mass has that same signification for us too, that if we realize what he's done for us and Mary's like, look, go to war for me and my son, then the Mass feeds us into that. And that's sort of, so anyway. All right, well, God bless. And if you want to look also at great devotion, Seven Stars of Our Lady.